In this week's video, I'm going to share with you how I use Google Slides as a place to create graphics and images that I use in other places across Google Workspace. So this is one of my better known examples. This is a Google Slide to create headers for Google Keep. So I'm using WordArt here, layered, uh, to kind of get the shadow effect. I've added some Bitmoji images, and I've also created a color palette that matches exactly to what Google Keep has. So let me show you what this looks like in Google Keep. So that heading is right here. So I utilized Google Slides to make my image. I downloaded the image and then I added it to Google Keep. So let me show you how I do that. I start with a fresh slide and I love using word art for this. So I'm gonna go up here to insert and I do word art. I add my word and then I pick my font. I like picking big chunky fonts. I think they look better, but you can also use some of the handwriting fonts. If you're not seeing uh, any font that you like, you can go to more fonts and dive a little bit deeper into the full list that Google has. All right, so we're gonna use this font. So I'm gonna resize it to be nice and big. Sometimes hitting bold will help give you a thicker look and sometimes it just makes it harder to read. You can decide whether or not you wanna utilize that. Same thing with italics, if that's something that you wanna do. My next step to get this shadow look is I'm gonna layer a copy of this word art on top of the other ones. So the first thing I'm gonna do for this one at the bottom is I'm going to choose the color that I want. We're gonna go with this green color. Now the next step is to remove the outline. You can either choose the same color outline or you can choose transparent. Now I'm going to copy and paste my word art. So now that I have two, and on this top layer, I'm going to um, get rid of the fill and add back in the outline. Now I can either use my mouse or my arrow keys to move the outline over. If I just move my arrow key up, down, bottom, right, that's gonna move it five pixels at a time. If I hold the shift key and the arrow, it'll move it one pixel at a time. If you want the outline to be thicker, then you can choose border weight and choose the thickness of your outline. Whatever makes the most sense for you. Now an extra little tip at this point, so I can move it around and resize it easily moving forward, is I will select both of these word arts and I will group them together. So the easiest way to select items in slides is to click, hold, and drag to create a lasso, and that will select both items. Then I can right click and group. All right, my image is complete. Now to save this as an image, I'm going to go to File, Download, and I can choose either JPEG or PNG. Know that the title of the picture is going to be the same as the title of your document. So for some reason you want it to be different, change the name and then download. So now I have this PNG document. Now I can open up Google Keep and create a new note. Choose image, and then I can change my color. Some other ways that you can utilize this trick to create different graphics. Um, if you wanted a graphic like this in Jamboard, you could utilize slides to create something like this. All you need to do is change the size of the slide. Any kind of graphic organizer like this could be created in slides. There's a bunch of great shape options up here that can be utilized to create those graphic organizers. I did something similar here with these high frequency words um, when we were using benchmark. So all of these are individual images and text boxes that we created. Once you're finished, if you wanted to save that as an image, all you would have to do is go up to file, download, and save it as an image type. We downloaded the images, used them to create activities in Seesaw. Clicking on these links here will show you an example of what that looks like. Last but not least, I love using Google Slides to create PDFs. So if I need to create a workbook, a newsletter, something fancy, um, and I wanna keep it inside of Google Workspace, all you need to do is change the page setup to be an eight and a half by 11, and then you have this nice page size 
and then I used text boxes here and images to create this. If I wanted to save this as a PDF, all I would have to do is go to File, Download, PDF. Then I could either open, save that PDF, I could drop it into Google Drive, and now I have a PDF. What's great is all of these links that were in my original document also become active and the videos that I had will still link out to YouTube. So a fun way of utilizing Google to uh, become a graphic design studio without needing to go out much further. We'll include links to these templates in the email so you can use them to get a head start.